Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome to my The Darkest Shore full Easter egg tutorial for DLC 1 as part of the Resistance DLC for Call of Duty World War 2. Now, overall, I really love this Easter egg, and I think you guys will enjoy it as well. Now, before we get into it, there are two prerequisites. You need to know how to turn on power and also pack a punch. If you don't know how to do that, there's two videos down below. And if you guys go on to enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new and if you do end up subscribing let me know down below in the comment section so i can thank you personally so without further ado let's get right into it so we're going to start off going through the overlook door to the artillery bunker and once you open up this door there's going to be the power switch and there's going to be the stock of the rip saw or saw weapon so it can either be on that desk or it can be on the other side of this bunker on this desk and as you can see it wasn't on either of those so there's one more location that is going to be on sort of a bunk bed looking thing inside of the power room at the bottom so as you can see it is right there for the saw part now there's going to be one more part for the saw that you're going to need right away and that is going to be the saw blade that already chopped off some guy's head right in front of the pack punch machine so it's actually right there and you can grab that and then you can go over to near like literally opposite of the hall Hallway where the first power switch is to build the saw right here so as you can see we built the saw now you're gonna need 2,500 points in order to actually buy the saw and then you're gonna be able to start harvesting some of the zombie spines now what you need to do is find a spine that is actually already charged because each one has some sort of fuse within the zombie spine it powers them or something like that so as you can see here this one is going to be charged so all you have to do is bring that spine right over to the same table and you press square and now what you're going to be doing is powering up the charge by getting kills right there in that same area you need to get about 20 to 30 kills i think it's about 25 and you'll hear an activation noise when you get halfway and completely filled uh, which is always kind of cool i guess you could say so that's definitely a good thing to add in now overall once you get that you have to pay an additional 500 points in order to get the ripsaw which allows you to actually shoot the blades from the ripsaw so that is definitely a cool addition now obviously we're going to be using the ripsaw for a few of the different steps throughout the easter egg now there is a way to pack a punch it but i'm not going to be covering it in this video because it's not actually necessary for the easter egg i might make a separate video covering that so there's a guy that has the word traitor in German hanging and if you shoot his neck it's going to cut off his head and you have to bring that head down to the u-boat room so you can grab the corpse head and then you're going to make your way all the way down to the u-boat room where the german u-boat is it's another name for a german submarine now you place it here and basically what you have to do now is get kills and it's going to fill up the canisters on either side of the door so that is pretty interesting as well this one only requires about 15 to 20 I'm not sure on the exact number once again, but it's definitely not nearly as many as you need to fill up the fuse for the ripsaw. So once you get these kills, then you're going to start hearing an activation noise and like an alarm. And there's going to be fire that starts appearing on the platforms located around this room. Now, just be careful. I recommend buying shields for this step and also having like pack a punch, uh, bacon and eggs or the M1911 pack punch is really, really useful. But basically, you're going to see flames around these platforms and eventually the flames are going to go away on the platforms right next to these different valves. And you need to turn off all three valves this is the second one here you already saw my friend turn the other one and the last and final one is going to be located over here right next to the stairs now once again you kind of just gotta make your way through kill all the zombies and you should be good if you're playing four player have one person stay outside the room because you will get locked in now we have time for the most gruesome part of this entire easter egg where this guy's body literally gets split in half and it's pretty gruesome i must say now, once that door actually opens up, you're going to get a Brenner's response. So if you have free fire, I would highly recommend using it because you can literally make him just fall off the edge extremely easy, which is pretty cool. 
So once you're done that step, guys, now there are going to be planes flying over the island. And what you have to do is get on one of these flat cannons and shoot down those planes. Now, there are three different ones, so it really depends on which one you like the most. But I recommend going for this one because you can actually shoot a rock, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. But be careful, as you can see on the meter, it does end up going down if zombies hit the flat cannons. Now, sometimes you can shoot their heads and you can kill the zombies but other times you can't so that is going to cause like the most amount of damage to the flat gun you do have unlimited ammo but if you kill the zombies near it it's probably a lot easier but basically all you have to do is just keep shooting down the planes the last plane is going to crash in the same location every time and it's actually going to reveal one of the radio parts which we're going to get later on in the easter egg and as you can see there we get the icon showing that we've completed that step Next, you're going to make your way down to the U-boat room and you're going to call the artillery loader, which is actually exactly like a bomb zombie, only it carries a fuse. Now, this one is just the same, but it's going to start a new round as soon as you call him in. So just make sure you're ready to defend. Now, zombies are going to attack him if you don't protect him. So you definitely want to make sure that you are defending him the entire way. Now, he does go a couple different routes and it depends on which doors you have open if you have most of the doors open then he's just going to go the fastest route but as you can see here i just sped it up really fast because no one wants to sit through two minutes of me walking this dude through the map it's a pretty standard like way to go it's not too bad at all and once you get there what you have to do is actually end up getting soul kills and you just keep killing zombies here and it's going to charge up that entire like power core or battery thing and then you're going to be able to shoot the AA cannon that is right there at ships, which are going to appear out in like around the map. So the next step, guys, is we actually need to build the radio. So there's a radio part right here. And before I talked about shooting down the last plane, which is actually going to have another radio part. So this one is actually going to appear on the other side of the cannon where the guy hanging is right here. And what you need is the rip saw. And all you really have to do is shoot like right above the thing and it's going to drop and boom, you can pick it up. That is the second radio part. And the last and final radio part is already going to be on the table. So that makes it pretty nice. You actually only need those two parts in order to actually get the full radio built. So the radio is literally like right near uh, the artillery bunker. And all you have to do is go up to the table and press square. And what that's actually going to do is cause some dialogue from uh, Dr. Schraub and then the boats are going to appear out around the island. So once you do that, guys, he's actually also going to destroy this radio tower as well. Uh, it happens every single time. And once again, then you're going to be doing the artillery step here with the AA gun. So as you can see, there's boats out there and you have the ability to actually change the angle. And if you're going like left or right with the artillery gun, it's really not that bad to shoot down the thing. You can kind of just use trial and error. You can angle it right and left. And obviously, then again, you can raise and lower the elevation just depending on the switches. Now, there are a map next to it, which makes it pretty easy. When you blow up one of the boats, then it's going to sink and you'll see it sink. And then there's going to be two more. Now, those are going to move across and then stop in one location where it makes it easier. But if you get enough skill, you can shoot it as it's moving, which is always kind of a cool thing. Now, I think this personally is one of the coolest steps. Now, do keep in mind that the boats are actually going to shoot at you while you're doing this. As you can see, I just lost a shield. So that is a little bit annoying. But at the same time, it's kind of a cool step, in my opinion. I just think it's really, really cool. And this is actually the last and final step for the easy steps throughout this easter egg so as i'm going to show on screen guys we completed pretty much all of that stuff right there and uh yeah that's half of the inventory if not more so really really nice all right guys so now i'm going to show you a little bit more of the harder stuff within the easter egg so you ride down the mine car and on the right hand side you guys are going to see a wall that's kind of closed right there it's a secret room and the only way to open it is by having a bomb zombie explode on it when you ride the mine car so as you can see here we're going to go back up and there's some bomb zombies and it's going to explode i'm going to hold square so as soon as it breaks i can go inside and in this room you find the ancient door as well as a a monk head which is in the right hand side corner 
up against like in between some rocks you can grab that that's very very important you're gonna have to place that monk head inside that room where the guy split open on the left hand side so now i'm gonna show you guys all the locations for the son of nerthus there's three first one you have to shoot this rock on the flat cannon just like we did uh shooting down the planes so that's why i usually go to this one you shoot it more towards the right hand side and then it's going to appear on the beach at the end of the walkway as you can see here we're going to be on the beach and that is one right there now you do not have to place these in like before you end up going in that room if you want you can just bring them close and then three of your teammates when you're doing like a ritual you can all place them at the same time i just decided for the sake of this video i was just going to place each and every one so all you have to do is place it in one of the holes it's going to go in the bottom left and it is basically going to say found son of nerthus number one and each one is numbered so now i'm going to show you guys how to get the second one this one is a little bit more annoying you're going to need the rip saw and there's going to be rocks that look a little bit different around the canyon area so as you can see here i'm going to shoot that one and a son of nerth this is going to fall out there's nine different stones that you can shoot so i'm going to show you guys all the locations now just going to play some cool music really quick because there's really no point in me talking about all of these but i'm going to show you all the locations Alright guys, so that is all nine of the locations. So once again, we're going to do the same thing. Grab the son of Nerthus and we're going to place this one. Now this one happens to be the third one. I just decided to do it out of order for this guide. So as you can see, we placed the third one in right there. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do the second one. This one's pretty easy as well. Literally all you have to do is get one of the spines or harvest the spine from a regular zombie that is charged and you're going to give it to the monk heads. So as you can see here, we're going to harvest the spine and it happens to be charged so we're lucky and then all we have to do is give it to the monk now this one is a little bit weird because basically what happens is i didn't have the monk head right here so i had to get the monk head and place it down so just keep that in mind uh basically like i said the monk head is located inside of that secret room that you end up opening so i place it down and then you give the monk head that um like spine that is charged from a regular zombie and what's going to happen is he's going to pull up a regular zombie because apparently this thing just drops down and grabs like random zombies which i guess is kind of cool so this zombie is a little bit weird you don't really have to protect it or anything but it's kind of a friendly zombie and it's just going to walk all the way over to the spawn room beach and it's going to go inside of the ocean and then eventually about five seconds later or so after it sinks it's going to walk back up and it's going to have another son of nerthus so that is how you get all of them it's really 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 easy but now we're going to get into the ritual steps which can be a little bit more complicated and a little bit more difficult in order to do so once again i'm just going to go and place this one in now keep in mind when you place all three of these there's going to be three of the mecklers behind this door if you disturb them they're all going to chase you and try to f you up so just keep that in mind now we're going to get into the ritual steps all right guys so the first ritual we're gonna do is the pest one and you need to get a pest spine and once again give it to the monk 
now what the what's going to happen is a pest is going to come up and be pulled by that thing that magically pulls up random zombies and we have a pest that has a specific color on it basically what you have to do is shoot fuses that are located around each of the rooms and as you can see the first one you shoot it right here and it's just going to bounce off and hit him as long as he's standing there now he does move to random locations and also you have to blow the boxes open with grenades i like to use some texts because it just makes it easier he has another one in this room you bounce it off there and you're all set then you're gonna make your way over outside right to this canyon area underneath where the guy is hanging and you shoot that one it bounces and then hits him again and basically all you have to do is make sure that you hit him every single time otherwise this will not work so as you can see here we're going to once again be, do this one next to the a gun you're gonna bounce off the three and hit it once again and then there's one more that you have to do which is gonna be located over in the u-boat area you bounce it right outside of the room it's gonna bounce off three more inside that u-boat area and hit the pest so once you do that guys you're able to do the pest ritual so as you can see we're gonna go down to that secret room and all four of your teammates have to be inside the room then a rock is going to roll and basically block off the room and there's going to be a pest all you have to do is kill it and then it's going to drop its head on the ground now it's really really easy if you have free fire because you can literally just spray like like no tomorrow basically and get the head really really easily it's going to hang up on the hook it's the first one as you're walking in on the left hand side so all you have to do is place it on the hook and then you are 100% done that portion or that ritual. Now there are three more that you have to do, which are a little bit more complicated. So we're going to go through those as well. And it's really not that bad guys. This one is probably the easiest I would say with the pest. The next one is going to be the one that a lot of people have been trouble having trouble with with this Easter egg. And that is the whistling one because this one glitches out like really frequently I would say it's one of those things that's it's literally hit or miss but I have a pretty good strategy that you guys should be able to complete it so once again you have to have a regular gun and you have this whistling what I like to do is bring him all the way over here because you don't want him to take a right outside the door to get speed cola because that is not one of the perks that he is going to get but basically he's gonna buy four perks so it's pretty cool so as you can see, I'm just going to speed it up here. You take a left out of that door and you're going to make your way up the stairs located right near the canyon. And you're just going to keep going up towards Pack-a-Punch. And basically you have to stay pretty close to him. Otherwise he will not follow you. So just keep that in mind while you guys are doing this. Now the first one he's going to buy is going to be right here. And this is going to be double tap. So as you can see, you just have to get kind of close to him and he's going to buy it. For some reason, he was kind of glitching out in this gameplay and it doesn't even look like he gets it or he does it really fast. I don't know what was going on. But uh, anyways, I had to like maneuver around because sometimes the angle is really weird. The hitbox is weird. But if you shoot him, he follows you. So that is something to keep in mind, especially on this next step. So as you can see, he grabs it like super quick. I don't know what the hell that was, but hey if the players could do it that quick it would be nice but anyways you're gonna go straight and you're gonna go off of this ledge right here and he's gonna like glitch through the wall a little bit but you want him to get over here so he avoids the stamina perk because you do not want to buy that one so this one's a little bit tricky you want to stay all the way to the left against the wall and he's gonna make his way towards that stamina perk and what you have to do is shoot him and he will like stop doing it and then follow you so what you need to do next is go all the way over to the aa turret and he has to buy the melee perk which is actually going to be right inside of this room now this one once again is pretty easy you just have to make sure you stay next to him so that he buys it that one seemed to be a little bit more legit like he actually bought the perk so now after getting those two you're pretty much done the hardest part of this because the rest is like super easy so now he's going to be able to buy the stamina perk which means he's going to move a little bit faster which is always nice so as you can see he buys that perk and once again, you have to be moving a little bit weird because it's a little finicky. Like he just makes this weird like movement here and somehow gets it because I noticed he had two red lights on his back or purple rather, but uh, I guess he's done. So we're going to keep on going. And then you just go down this trail right towards the right hand side. You're going to make your way all the way over to spawn and you're going to go to the quick revive perk machine. 
and he is actually going to get this one once again stay close to him and if you have somebody training i'd recommend that they train in the u-boat room just to stay out of the way so as you can see he's going to get this last perk he's going to make a weird movement and then he's going to walk inside of the wall which is right there in the canyon so boom you're done that step now once again all four players have to go inside of the ritual room and you're going to get that same whistling zombie as well as a couple more that are just going to be running around once again it's going to close you just have to kill all of them once again really really simple really easy just shoot them in their spine that is exposed and that's how you kill them super fast i recommend like an sbt or something like that it just takes them out pretty quickly and then once again you're going to place the head on the little hook now this one is going to be across from the pest spine hook or pest head that you hung up earlier and once again a head is going to drop so just keep that in mind i was having a little bit of trouble finding where this one actually went uh, but it's directly across from that just keep that in mind when you guys are putting this hook on so you don't get lost like me i had no idea what i was doing when i was doing this step so as you can see it's right there hanging up on the hook and you're all set and you can leave and now we can do one more of the rituals and this one is the worst by far you have to get a mook or meckler zombie or whatever it's called so what i like to do is go inside of this room and after about 30 seconds one of them is going to spawn so i go in with two people who both have the ripsaw and my friend ended up getting the spine from that meckler so we're all set you have to get a meckler spine and you're going to give it to the monk once again and this is where things get a little bit more interesting but this is probably the easiest one once you get the spine so what's going to happen is he's going to pull up another zombie this time it's going to be a meckler and it's going to hide around the map in different locations it's going to be kind of like in a ball and it'll make this noise so it sounds kind of like a brenner uh from the final reich but basically all you have to do is find it and shoot it or knife it and you have to do this three times so uh, a couple of the like really popular locations that he goes is the beach right next to the whale he also goes next to quick revive he goes next to the pack a punch area he goes inside the a turret room as well and there's going to be a fake meckler that's going to also come around and attack you so keep that in mind and there'll also be other noises then once again after you do it three times you'll have to do the ritual again where you have to kill the meckler and more of them are going to spawn so just keep shooting them and take care of them really really quickly this is probably you know one of the easier ones i wouldn't say it's that difficult but once again you just have to have your whole team in there free fire is really good for this stunning the zombies as well is really nice with shell shock so you should be able to take care of them pretty quickly and then you're pretty much almost done the easter egg so the next thing you need to do is go and pick up the monk head and you're gonna do the last ritual which is right now so this one really isn't too bad either basically what you have to do is fill up the pool with blood it's the same step that was on burger town exo zombies if you guys ever remember doing that it was called infection that was the map so you go in here you place the monk head on one of the hooks the last one that is remaining right on the right hand side you just place it and basically it's going to close again and zombies are going to fall from the ceiling and you just have to keep killing them this one is really really easy as well so i just ended up speeding it up super quickly now this is the last step pretty much before the boss fight and you're actually going to get another part of the sword i'm really hoping in the final dlc we're going to end up building the sword and killing like barbarossa or something but as you can see it is right here and it is the last and final thing the pommel of barbarossa so as you can see there we are all set we have pretty much everything now the next step you need to do is throw the pummel at the radio equipment right there and it's going to allow you to send you into the boss fight so now we're going to get into the boss fight part it's pretty simple but without further ado let's jump into the final part of the easter egg so this boss fight is a little bit different to traditional boss fights you're gonna hold square and go inside of it now the first area you're gonna be is actually on the beach and there's going to be these special meckler zombies that shoot saw blades at you so it can be very very difficult just focus your fire basically how this is going to work is there's a few different mecklers that are the boss ones that throw the saws at you and eventually once you shoot them enough then the fog is going to disappear and you're going to be able to go to the next one as long as your friends 
hold square you end up teleporting onto the actual mine card and then you're going to go into the next area so the next area is going to be in the u-boat room and once again that same fire that was there before is going to appear once again this time you have to be really really careful because it is a little bit stronger but as soon as you get to that room there's going to be a brenner like right away waiting for you to, and falls down like right before so you just got to take care of him really really quickly but once again the fire is a little bit annoying in this step so just be really careful and that pummel that you got you want to throw down at the mechlers because it stuns them it also ends up killing other zombies and stunning them as well so you want to use this as soon as it recharges it has about a 10 sec 10 to 15 second cooldown time before you can throw another one but just keep throwing those the entire time because it's really going to help you out and guns that i recommend for this boss fight is like the svt having the m1 uh, grand is really good having the bacon and eggs is also really good and each time you go to a new location you're going to get a max ammo so now we're going to the third location which is near the aa bunker and this one you can actually buy shields as you can see i have no shields right now so we're going to end up taking a right and if you want and you don't have the perks you can get double tap and stamina up while you're doing this at the same exact time which is actually really nice so you just kind of hang left and you're going to pass the uh, double tap machine then you're going to pass the stamina machine and sorry i don't remember those german names for the perks i just stick with treyarch zombie names okay sorry but here you can buy ammo which is or not ammo armor which is really really nice because it's going to help you out so much more significantly now basically it's the same exact thing again there's a bunch of fog you have to just keep shooting all of those mecklers and eventually all the fog is going to disappear and then you know you've completed it there's still fog here because it was actually a fog round and the rounds keep cycling while you're doing this boss fight which is kind of weird so just keep that in mind while you're doing it you may complete it and as long as you can activate the next minecart then you're good to go so as you can see here we're going to activate it and now we're finally going to go back to the beach where we're going to kill all of those different mechler zombies and this one is actually really really easy i would say uh just make sure you have full shields because you're going to need it just in case but other than that i mean it's pretty self-explanatory once again you just keep shooting them avoiding the zombies using shell shock free fire just spam as much ammo as you possibly can into those things and try to get out of the way now it's pretty simple once again but uh just keep focusing fire the entire time on all the zombies and the mecklers and you should be able to complete it and once you complete it you're going to get a symbol that is going to appear on screen as you can see right there once again throw the pummels as much as you possibly can and then you're going to get the cutscene and that is the entire easter egg so anyways guys i hope this guide was easy to understand if you have any questions just hit me up on twitter my twitter is greg fps and no spaces or anything like that and also once again if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new i really really appreciate it and once again if you guys want me to elaborate on anything twitter is like by far the best place for me to explain something i'm usually always on there if i'm not sleeping so i can usually answer stuff pretty quick even if you're in game and you just want to pause or something i should be able to respond to you pretty quickly if i'm not sleeping so Anyways, guys, have an amazing day. And once again, good luck with the Darkest Short Easter Egg. I had a lot of fun with this one. One of my favorite Easter eggs. I'm going to be doing a review of the map pretty soon as well. Uh, so you guys can look forward to that in your sub box. But thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.